Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. It is bright and early in the morning. I have my pot of coffee on, and while my coffee was brewing, I thought that I would show you all how I saved my coffee grounds for my garden. You can hear my kittens in the background. <laughs> they are hungry. <laughs> they are actually in my laundry room. That's where I keep them until they are a little bit bigger to go outside to the barn because they are going to be our barn cats but they were so little when we got them and it's been so cold I could not put them out so I made them a place in my laundry room and that's where they have been and that's what they do every morning when they hear me walk in here <laughs> oh, when they hear me come in this kitchen and the light comes on and they hear my footsteps they have a cat tower and they jump down. I hear them and they come to the door and that's what they do until I bring them their breakfast. So that's what you're hearing in the background. They're perfectly fine. They're just letting me know when you have your coffee, it's time for us to eat. <laughs> but anyway, you all, I just thought I'd take you all along with me and show you how I save my coffee grounds. I've already taken the filter out of here and I've already put that on top now this is a stack that I just finished doing because I do save them and I leave them out on like a plate and a pan on a paper towel and I just stack the filters like this because I want them to air dry before I actually put them in the container because if I put them in wet they get moldy really really quick so I like for them to look like this. Look at this. See that? Yeah. These are spent. These have been used. But they look good just because of the way that I like to air dry them when I'm done using them. So let me show you what I do to save my coffee grounds for the garden because it's just about time for me to get this and put it to use. All right, y'all. So what I do is quite simple. I'm going to slide these to the back right here so you can really see what I'm doing. Turn that around. <laughs> All right. So I just literally pick up my coffee filter. And as you can see, these are dry. And I just hold it over this container and I just scrape it off. Just scrape off the grounds. And I take my paper and I'm going to sit my paper up there. You can't see it, but I'm going to sit my paper up with the others. And I just keep going like this. Just scraping them off. And the papers, I'm going to sit them right here. The papers, I do not throw them away. Okay. These little coffee ground written coffee filters are going to be great to go inside of your, make it a mess of your compost bin all right just take that off and just put it in like so if you don't use coffee filters and you use you use one of those reusable washable coffee filters then you can use um, a couple of paper towels on a little plate or a paper plate or a bowl or whatever you have and you can just dump them in there and spread them out overnight. Let them dry. Let them dry. And then put them inside of your container. Now this one is a bit, has a little bit of mold coming on the top, but that's okay. It, it's dry. And then sometimes they'll have like those little clumps in them. And when they have, let me see if you can see. When they have those clumps in them, that means that they still may have a little bit of moisture on the inside. So I just squeeze it and break up the clumps so that those can go ahead and dry as well. Mm -hmm, that's all. Here's one. Well, I thought it was, but it's dry. And I just keep going like this until I get them all done. And as you can see, my bowl is almost full. My container is almost full. So once one container is full, then of course I'll have another one coming right behind it. Just give that a nice stir. Yeah. 
Look at there. Just look. Those look so good, right? These are going to be awesome in the garden. And is this a lot of work? No, it's not. It's okay. Especially for what we get out of it, right? The benefits of using the our own little home type fertilizers are awesome. Now, the closer I get to the bottom of this pan, the more the grounds have a little bit of mold on them because they are at the bottom. And the wet ones, I mean, they just climbing in there. Okay. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> kittens or something else. I'm going to introduce y'all to those kittens. They are something else. Okay, I'm coming. Y'all are doing the most. And that's it. And you see how I had the pan here lined with some paper towels. And then I would put my... Full, um, my coffee filter sit that inside and just put one on top of the other day after day but they normally are dry by the time i get ready to use the other one and then after so many has been collected i'll come and i will add them to my container now this container is full just about love it This is going to be awesome in the garden. And on goes my lid. Okay, so now actually what I should do is just put a few air holes in here so this doesn't build up any kind of moisture, okay? So I might just go ahead... Well, I'm going to probably use these, so no no, ru no, rush, but on my other container, I have air holes in the top, and that just kind of helps to make sure that there is no moisture remaining. It just allows for there to keep some air in this container, especially if it's going to be sitting for a while um, during the uh, winter months, then if it's going to just be sitting like that, then I try to keep some air in the container so they don't start getting all moldy and looking extremely bad, right? So that's what I do. But for this container, this is going to be going to the garden here in just another week or so. And I just take this out. Just like so. And I will sit it in this pan. And here it will sit to dry overnight. From one morning to the next. That's where it will sit. Alright y'all. That is going to do it. Ooh, that sun looks good coming up. Oh my goodness, this coffee. It smells so good. I'm drinking it out of my moo mug this morning. <laughs> but you all, that is how I save my coffee grounds. I'm sorry for the sun on the blinds, but I don't want to close them because that sun looks so good. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is going to do it. I'm going to take my coffee paper filter thingy rugers, and I am going to move those outside. They are going to go to our compost pile. My spent coffee grounds right here, I'm going to move them away from the counter because, okay, that's better, <laughs> because I don't want anyone to confuse those coffee grounds with being something they should be using. Because that coffee won't be good at all. <laughs> so anyway, you all, that is going to do it for to this morning's video for today. Because I just wanted to show how easy it is to save your coffee grounds. 
Now, if you don't have a container like this, something, just put them in. You could put them in anything, really. But it's just that I always save mine. And I'll keep them. I have like three or four of these empty containers. <laughs> and I will keep them for this purpose right here to um, reuse them to put in my spent coffee ground so I don't throw these away. I hang on to them because I know I'm going to use them, right? So this is going to go in the garden. I'm going to have a happy garden. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is going to do it for this morning. I have got to drink my coffee, and then I'm going to run out and do my morning chores. It is cold out there. So we got a lot of rain come through, and after that rain, it was, well, before the rain, it was hot. And then after that rain, now it is absolutely cold. It is so cold out there. Even Jax didn't want to go out there and use the bathroom. <laughs> Jax went outside and he stood there for a second. He was like, uh-uh. He turned right around and came right on back in the house. So he'll go back out once it warms up a little bit. I guess it was too cold for him this morning. This is January. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, it's January. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. That is going to do it for this morning. If you haven't done so already, give our video a thumbs up like subscribe to our channel don't forget to share with others as well especially if you think they would love to join our family our community where we're all working together to grow our own groceries right so you all thank you all again for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you i had to drink this coffee so i can get prepared for my day I'll see y'all in the next video.